do a kind of shady cat eye with a peachy kind of cheek. I'm going to start out with a cream blusher by Benefit. I'm going to twice all over the lid from lashes to brow as a kind of a primer. I'm going to use a reddish brown color, this color here on an angled brush and just fill in the brows. And sweep downwards. It is not a terribly exaggerated sweep here. Just extend the line a little bit. I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to place a bit of white on the brow bone for highlight. and also in inner corner of eye sweeping up to middle of eyelid next I'm going to use a peachy color this color here is a peachy kind of a beige color and we are just going to pop in the middle of lid, just in center, and gradually going outwards to outer edge of eye, and blend in with the white. Next I'm going to use an angled brush, and I'm going to use a color, this color here, it is a kind of a plum color with flecks of gold running through. And we are going to place the golden plum color in a kind of funny triangle shape. So we want to make a triangle at the outer corner of the eye. This is one end of the triangle. And then two ends of the triangle. And three. So basically we do not want to extend further then this edge of the triangle and brush upwards and now using a blending brush just blend away the edges so there is a soft a melting of the colors one into the other and now I'm going to use a 231 brush by MAC. It is a very nice brush to use because it's a very accurate edge. And I'm going to use a reddish brown color, the same color we used for the brows. It is this color here. And we're going to create a V shape in the outer corner of the eye. A V shape. And then bring that V shape gradually towards the middle of the eye but not very far so just a little bit further inwards like so and then we blend and now using the same brush we want to take a little more of the reddish brown color Just follow the lower lash line up to about here, just before halfway. And then bring the line downwards very slightly. And then using the same angled brush with the plum color with the golden shimmer, this color here that we used earlier, we're just going to go over and bring the color down a little bit further especially in the inner corner again we are making a slight triangle shape so it is like that, that and that now I'm going to use a product by Benefit it is a shadow to liquid liner we're going to use the black side and a liner brush and we want to start further than your actual eye, so closer to the nose.
da News and Gun Angle Brush. I'm going to use a kind of a sandy color, this color here. And just line the lower waterline. I'm going to use this kind of a lash. It is a lash that gives more a sense of volume rather than length. We put some glue and we stick lash on upper lash line. And there we are. For cheeks I'm going to use a very warm tan kind of color on a white fan brush. And just place a long cheekbone. It is a slightly orange ready shade, it goes nicely with the hair. I'm going to line the lips with a liner by Prestige in color Eggplant. And just bring the color slightly inwards. And I'm going to fill lips in with a color by Maybelline. It is called Born With It A34. It is a kind of a pink, slightly shimmering, pale pink. And then I'm going to add a bit of MAC lip gloss to make super shiny. My name is Natasha Romanov. I'm applying for assassin. I mean assistant. I like to finish what I start.